Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show us what we need to do to get started on our nameplate template, which is going to be our last laser engraving assignment. Uh, so going into our week 8, making sure that we get to our nameplate laser engraving final assignment piece here. Uh, this is kind of honestly evolving right now because I don't have it all done, but we have to come in to start this and download our nameplate. So when we click here, uh, we get to the screen we've seen in the last couple assignments. It's the same piece we've done a couple other times, and that is download next to get it to our machine. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to change here is I'm going to open it over here from my download in Chrome. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and double click. I know there's a few computers that aren't going to work in the back right now uh, that do this, but if you need help that way, just make sure you ask me um, and I'll help you out. But coming in here, we should be able to click that to open it in Adobe Illustrator. And then it should pop up for us. I think I'm already logged in, so it should be a little bit faster. Oh, it's going to be a new Adobe Illustrator. So there's a couple versions of Adobe Illustrator uh, that are coming in. I think I have 2021 and maybe 2022 possibly opened up right now. A couple different ones. Anyway, uh, when we get to our nameplate IT, we're going to get this piece opened up. Um, and it's a little different as far as our artboard compared to our other ones. So now what we see in the middle here is just an example of a cut line. All right, so this piece right here, I could start by just moving off to the side um, by clicking and then dragging it with my selection tool. And what we're looking at here for the size of our artboard is a six inch in the direction left to right and then a five inch height. So we're looking at a little a larger rectangle. Now, what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to do a nameplate. So the one thing that's very important is in our nameplate is that our cut line, I'm just going to use the box right here, move it back over, clicking and dragging it. Um, it's important that we keep our bottom base about that six inches. Remember, you can't, you got to stay within the artboard, but right to the edge over here, both sides. And then it, the bottom quarter inch needs to be there. So looking for a height, we want to be around 0.25. Now, there's a lot of other ways we could have done that, making that rectangle, but I already have that in there. So it's an easy way to show you, kind of keeping that. So 0.25, this direction. Now, we already have our cut line set up for the base of our uh, nameplate. The one thing I want to do also is just move this down. If you're going to do a solid nameplate, you could just actually click and drag and make sure this is the full size. Now, lastly, just making sure we have our stuff saved in a spot where we know where it is. So coming in, um, we're going to do a file, save as. This is what I always do the first time I'm saving. And I want to make sure I know where it's going. So up here, it kind of tells you where is this file going to. Over here on your left-hand side, you guys might see Creative Cloud um, files. You might see your uh, last name, H drive, like I have down here. Um, and then you might also have in your downloads, uh, possibly even Google um, Drive over here. If you have your Google Drive, probably the best place to save in, but any of those other options will work. Um, the only one I'd try to stay away from is a download file, just in case you move computers, um, because it won't be at the next computer if you don't put it on there. Uh, anyway, make sure you name it, what we want to name it, and that is name, plate, and then your name. and then we're going to save it in that spot. I'm just going to change mine to Adobe Illustrator file. Yours should automatically do this for you, I believe. Thank you. Hope the video helps.